Today we're gonna meet the teen who dies if he falls asleep. We're gonna see the struggle this teen has to go through with a very, very rare condition. This video was reported by BBC. If you're watching Reaction Time. Without further ado, we're gonna play this video. I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts. Uh, this is a very sad story of this teen's struggle and his day-to-day -day life with this condition. So without further ado, let's watch this. He can breathe on his own during the day, but not when he goes to sleep. Doctors believed he wouldn't live for longer than six weeks. It was like, oh, right. Okay, game on. You're right. <laughs> okay, so this is Liam on the right, the father on the left. Liam has to be under a machine every single time he falls asleep. The machine actually forces him to breathe because his breathing stops as soon as he falls asleep. There is a similar condition, it's called sleep apnea, where people have breathing problems when they're asleep, but this is far worse than sleep apnea. This is where the brain gets shut off and does not give any signal to automatically breathe while this kid is sleeping. Okay, so let's look at this. 1,500 people, there are 7 billion in the world. So if we do 1,500 divided by 7 billion, this is the number we get. You guys can't even see it. It's 2.14 with seven decimal places in front. That's how rare the condition is. And uh, I already feel a lot of sympathy for him. Um, I'm, it's, it's very sad and I don't think his parents want us to feel sympathy though. Let's keep watching. Are you fuck, mate? Liam has a condition called congenital central hyperventilation syndrome, or Ondine's curse. Ondine was a fairy, and he was cursed that he, if he ever fell asleep, he would die because he wouldn't breathe. So we rely on a machine to make him breathe, and without that machine, he wouldn't be alive. Okay, comfy. What I'm scared of, if this teen accidentally takes it off, let's say he bothers him or something, he decides to take it off and he doesn't realize what would happen if he falls back asleep. He has to realize he can't take a nap without using this machine to keep him alive. If you ask me if I had a good night's sleep, the answer is no. Not since the day he was born, to be quite frank. You don't know from one day to the next, one minute to the next minute, whether he's going to have a seizure, an episode, he's going to get tired, he can collapse on you at any time. I always remember one senior nurse saying to me many times, it will get easier as he gets older. That is the biggest load of rubbish going because it does not get easier. If anything, it gets harder. You go from having what you think is a normal child to someone who actually gets rarer by the day because he's surviving so long as he is. Wow, that's actually extremely sad. I don't know if I'll be able to deal with something like this or even have a kid that has to go through something like this. So, so much respect for the parents for being so strong. Um, if you guys know anyone that suffers from this or something similar, let me know in the comments. Like I said, it is so rare that I highly doubt any of you guys are, are familiar with this. But then again, if we do the math, it is possible that one of you guys actually know someone that might suffer from a condition similar to this. Okay, so over here it says a carer is also a hand to watch over him in case anything goes wrong. Does that mean a carer is awake the whole night watching him sleep? Because if that's the case, I feel like that's super expensive and I would do anything for my kids. So that, that, that would definitely be a must. Basically, uh, Liam's sleeping arrangements are the electric bed, which has three positions in order to give him some quality of sleep. There's a plate underneath the mattress that will sense after 12 bursts of fitting 
Uh, the idea is that this ventilator supplies positive pressure so that the lungs are forced to exhale. Ever anybody has sort of had the night dream where you're falling off a cliff? That's your body telling you your phrenic nerve is alarming and it makes you take a deep breath. So equated to that, that's his condition. He has that all the time. Damn. It's also his room, so you've got his PlayStation, his sat TV, then obviously Liam's big forte is his Lego, which is all around the room. We are hoping to put a whole big trap up in the lot for me. Guys, so far, I want to hear your thoughts. Put them in the comments down below. I actually, I'm, I mean, this is very hard for me to, to react to this because I, I just imagine if one of my family members or um, even if I had a kid in the future that suffered from something like this or something similar, um, it would make life super difficult. And it's, it's really heartbreaking in my opinion, but I'm very glad Liam has so much support around him, like his parents, the carer, his mom and his dad just seem like absolutely amazing parents. So. His mental state is unknown, to be perfectly frank. We don't know which is the spectrum, so where it starts and where it finishes. You can build these incredible Lego models, and there's thousands and thousands of parts, and yet he can put that all together. I do believe in all my life. I just get to see the wire, just in case it'll get to heart. He'll check the Lego websites to see if there's any new ones out and you know full well what's coming on either his birthday or Christmas list. <laughs> Which is your favourite one, Liam? All of them. All of them. Liam's 17, nearly 18, so it's a big birthday this year. He's an annoying, grumpy teenager. So he's no different to any other teenager. Oh, sh Okay, uh, the mom's kind of exposing him right now, like, what? But he does have a sense of humor. He's very caring. He's got a really soft side. He has one older brother, three half-sisters. And his two older sisters, they've both got children. So he's got eight nieces and nephews. Me and Liam, we do a lot of things together. We play with the trains, build Lego. Did look good. Wasn't it the Fly Scotsman? Yeah. He loves trains. You ask him anything about trains, he'll tell you. Yeah. That's a good nephew. I mean, look look how supportive he is. He tries to talk to him. He tries to understand him and uh, ask him about his hobbies. That's an awesome nephew. Food, good. Wasn't it the Fly Scotsman? Yeah. He loves trains. You ask him anything about trains, he'll tell you. Yeah. Like some people don't understand what he says, but I do. You just got to take a bit more time and proper listen to what he says to understand and fully be aware of what he's saying. Life expectancy wise for Liam, nobody knows for sure, but... You cannot regret or have any remorse about the life he's had, because he wouldn't have had it. If we'd have listened to some of the doctors, by rights, he shouldn't even be alive now. We never really thought we'd get this far. Liam's living proof that there's always hope. The future for Liam, I would say, is uh, it's not going to be totally independent, but with us two, it's going to be as independent as we could possibly make it. It's 18 years since we started this journey, you see. Yeah, I don't regret any day of it. All right, guys, that was uh, the teen who dies if he falls asleep. I want to hear your full thoughts in the comments down below. I thought this was very emotional, actually, and it's it's very hard to see it and uh, see the side of the story that the parents have to experience. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the video. There is a bunch 
of people with allergies or strange conditions that we're gonna look at on reaction time. We did the girl who's allergic to water. There's a girl allergic to the sun and uh, there's actually some very rare conditions that I think are very interesting. So we're gonna review most of them on reaction time. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Check out some more videos. I'll see you next time. Hopefully you guys aren't too sad from his story. You just you could just appreciate being able to fall asleep at night. That's it guys. I'll see you next time. Hope you have a good one and peace out.